After the car wash, we're going to show you three Hexis cleaning products that you need for the preparation of a full wrap. We start with product one, the remover, which we use to remove traces of adhesive that may remain after a removal or of a full wrap. Or it can also remove small traces from tar that you find sometimes on bumpers. Here we have a concrete case of an adhesive deposit on a vehicle body. We're going to use the product one. We vaporize and leave the product to soak for two to five minutes. After that time, we take a squeegee and a paper cloth and we take off all the adhesive. You can see the resulting deposit on the squeegee. If the adhesive becomes too solid, don't hesitate to put on more remover. After the use of the product one, we're going to proceed with product two, the pre-cleaner, which is a slightly soapy product, which we use for a general clean of the vehicle. You should always use a separate cloth so as not to mix the different liquids on the cloths. We finish with the final cleaner, which we use to remove all traces of the preceding products. It also acts as a powerful degreaser. Here also we should use a separate dedicated cloth. You should insist firmly on the ridges of the components you want to wrap. You could also take a squeegee and wrap a cloth around it to do the ridges, the headlights. Then you should turn the cloth over and use the dry side to finish the application. The component is clean, there is no more adhesive and it's ready to be wrapped. For a full wrap, it's necessary to protect certain areas which will not be wrapped, such as headlights, the wheels or the seals. We will show you on a headlight. Here the protection has two purposes. First, to prevent the adhesive from picking up any dirt from the headlight glass. And second, it will allow us to glide the PVC on the protective tape. We have protected the area outside of where we're going to wrap, which will allow us to do the cut and apply the vinyl. It's important to protect all silicone components, the chrome trim, the wheels and the headlights, which will prevent the PVC from picking up dust and let the film slide when we cut. To do the decorative stripes on the bonnet, on the roof or on the trunk, we can use the fill deck. Place the first side of the stripe Press the fill deck. We're going to make a 10 cm strip. Place it above and measure below. Then we apply the PVC on top and cut with the fill deck, which will avoid cutting directly on the vehicle body.